Hey guys, it's me Jocelyn. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do an advanced circular ripple type of transition for free on a light motion. So let's just get started. Also ignore the fact that I spelled advanced wrong. Anyways, so first things first, when you have your first photo, go into effects, add effect, go to distortion and warp, and then find pinch and bulg, or bulge. I don't really know how to say it. Just go to strength and set it to zero. And on your for add two keyframes, one at the beginning and one at the end. And on your second keyframe, set your strength whoops set your strength to 1.00 so you want the face to be inflating and not deflating and then just go ahead and do your graph now you can make the radius as much as you'd want i'm just going to do 0 0.845 just like this now i'm going to go into my second photo add effect and then i'm going to go back to pinch and bulg and i'm going to make the strength negative 1.00 I'm going to add a keyframe one at the beginning and then one at the end and on the one at the end just turn that down to zero and then do your out graph and i'm going to change the radius to 0 0.85 just like i did last time just like this 0 0.85 now i'm going to add an effect on and i'm going to add circular ripple now you're going to want your frequency to be 6.53 you have to scroll a lot so 6.53 and then once you have that add a keyframe first keyframe one at the beginning and add a second keyframe at the end and set that to just 1.00 sorry i wrote this in my notes so that i knew i also had to go back and watch one of my older videos because apparently i didn't know how to do it i don't know and then just go ahead and do your out graph now go to strength and set it to 500 0 0.500 0 0.500 or anywhere around there honestly and then add a keyframe one at the beginning and then at the one on the end set the strength back down to zero just like this sorry oh no set the strength to 2.0 that's my bad so set the strength to 2.0 whoops actually you know i just set it back down to zero i don't know why i wrote 2.0 it just set it back down to zero it doesn't really make much of a difference if you don't and I'm just going to make sure and make your radius on circular ripple 0 0.48 just like this you got to make sure I did this right and yeah this is the advanced circular ripple transition now obviously make your you can um, intensify your frequency if you want more of the ripples themselves um, that's my favorite part of this effect I've seen this effect done a lot on like video star and after effects especially so I just wanted to figure out a way for you guys to do it on a light motion for free and yeah that was it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And comment down below any tutorial requests that you guys may have. We hit 33,000 subscribers yesterday, which was my birthday. So thank you guys so much. That was a great birthday gift. And I just want to say thank you for all the love and support lately. It's honestly insane, but I really do appreciate all you guys. And yeah, I love you guys. Bye.